conceptually, it is actually harder to keep mount than it is to escape from mount. The guy on bottom doesn't have to do anything. He's stuck there, right? So every time he does something, I have to counter or react to it in order to maintain mount. Otherwise, I'll lose the mount position, right? All right, so a common question we get a lot, especially in our beginner classes and even intermediate and up, is uh, I'm having a hard time keeping them out. How do I keep them out? Right. Although it's a you know a, a dominant position right. to, to attack from, be on top of, people are like they don't feel comfortable in it. So what would you recommend for them? So uh, well, first of all, having an understanding of what the common problems are. What what are, what are the most common things people do from the bottom position of mount to try to escape? Whether they're very technical or not you still have to address them, right? So this whole idea of staying close and then your partner starts to push you away and being able to swim works at a very, very beginner level. Only people that have like less than a couple months of experience typically try to push you away. So you still have to be able to, um, to um, work with that. You know, if someone starts pushing away, you've gotta be- You have to be ready for you it. You gotta be ready for it. You gotta be floaty enough. You can't meet force for force or if the guy on bottom is a lot bigger and stronger, they're just gonna push you off. So you gotta be ready for that. I would say the most common thing that people uh, experience in terms of a slightly on a more technical level that they have to avoid is when they start to take a hand or an elbow and they try to start to push your knee away to facilitate the shrimp escape or the elbow escape, right? So as soon as they start to do this, you have to address this right away, otherwise you're going to lose mount. Conceptually, it is actually harder to keep mount than it is to escape from mount. The guy on the bottom doesn't have to do anything. He's stuck there, right? So every time he does something, I have to counter or react to it in order to maintain mount. Otherwise, I'll lose the mount position, right? So when he starts to push here, if I don't do anything, he's eventually gonna push my knee away and escape his right leg. So I have to either grab the sleeve, gi, or no gi, cup under his elbow, and I have to get rid of that problem. On top of that, even better, slide my knee forward so he can't repeat that same attempt to escape mount, right? So I would say that's the most common. And as Push. far as trap and rolls, you know, it's very simple to, to counter those in, in the sense of when he starts to wrap my arm here, you got to react to it. If I don't react and I let him trap it, then we got to go to stage two is to kind of start to shift the weight off to the side. I know he wants to roll me this way, so I just reposition my weight so that without giving up any space, of course, so that he doesn't roll me to that position. Does that make sense? Now, the last thing we'll go over that, that, is, that I find is, is very common is we get tunnel vision. When we're trying to do an attack from the mount, let's say cross choke, for example, we start doing this. And when he starts to escape, you got one or two choices to make. You can hold on and go for the ride, get concede the position, or you let go, maintain your top position, and then re-attack again. So there's a couple things to keep in mind. If they start to attack or start to do their defense, um, you've got to address it. And if you start to do your attacks, you've got to be aware of the fact that I'm either going to lose my position or I can give up on what I'm currently doing, the submission, and maintain that top position, right? So, you know, it's more of an awareness of that position and what you need to do to maintain. The primary objective is to maintain position. Too many people they get stuck on, I need to finish someone from the mount, which eventually you will, but the primary objective is to stay there. And knowing when to bail if you need to. Right. So you've got to realize that when you are losing something, you need to let it go and move on to something different. All right, guys. All right, if you like the video, just drop a comment below. Give us a like. We love that. And uh, if you have any suggestions for future videos, uh, feel free to comment below. Thanks, guys.